yeah, YouTubers, Tasman here, and we are continuing building our new system. So, uh, our next step we're going to do, we're going to hold off on CPU. Usually, I probably do that next, but because uh, I don't have a fan, I'm going to hold off on that. So, the next step we are going to do is we're going to install the RAM. Now, when I was kind of showing the motherboard, I was saying it's got four over here and four over here, DIMM slots, and these are DDR4. Uh, and with i7, it actually dedicates uh, to the processor specifically, and more so, I guess, when you have dual processors. It's just single, so I'm not exactly sure how it works in this, in this case. But... Uh, you don't generally just put, you know, a dim here, dim here, dim here, dim here, and then when it's full, you go here, or, you know, vice versa, put it here, 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 and then here, here, here as it fills up. Um, it usually likes it to be in a certain order. And so here we have in the manual, which is very important, when you're doing motherboards and stuff, you definitely want to uh, look at the manual because you don't want to screw things up. But as you can see here, we have our eight dims, and then it shows you here. Uh, the different configurations. So if you just do one, you just put the single dim in that white slot, or well, the light slot. Uh, in this case, if you have two dims, then one goes on that side of the processor, one on that. Uh, when you have three dims, there's no three dims, but there's a four dim, which is us. So as you can see, it looks like a dim goes in each of the lighter color slots. So it's every other one. So we're going to go really quick and put our dims in there because I believe we have a total of four. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. There we go. Oh, looks like we need this side too. Let's see, is that everything? Yeah, I believe that's everything. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think we need that other one. Wow, this is quite the case too. So here we have our our dims. And we've got a total of four of them. They are each four gigs. That gives us a total of 16 gigs. Now dims have changed quite a bit. Uh, they used to actually be uh, just a, a stick. You can kind of see it right in here, just the stick alone. Uh, but nowadays, they actually have heat sinks built into them. So all we do with this is, since it goes in this guy and this guy, there's little tabs here. I don't know if you can see that very well, uh, that you can push back. Uh, and that's so you can slide the dim in. And then you want to line up. There's a little... There's a little... Uh, notch right here and there's a little peg kind of thing in there so with these you kind of put them in sideways like that line it up come on line it up still lining up <laughs> pushing it in actually whoops I needed to flip that one I forgot to flip it after I showed you the dims alright so line that up like a show and you push it in and that will automatically close that little piece so that dim is now in <laughs> so let's go ahead and get our second one out and dominator this is dominator platinum ram or dims all right, so this one, push that guy down, push this in, and snap it into place. And we have our final two, like so. And they're gonna go into these two slots. If I can open the dim pack. There we go. Take you. Throw that garbage over there. And we want to put it in right here. Is that reverse? 
It does. That's kind of weird. It actually reversed from the way those are. There you go. I heard a little click. Clicking is good. And our final one. And Dominator, the DDR goes to that side now. Line it up straight. And click. Perfect. So there we go. 16 gigs of memory. Um, so the next thing we're going to put in, uh, and I think this will probably be the last thing we do on this day, well, on this episode, is uh, we put in the RAM, and now we're going to put in the power supply. And let me just, this mesh on the bottom's coming up. So I'm going to see how much more I can turn this guy so we can see inside here. Well, I don't know that we're going to be able to see. So I'm going to grab the power supply. And this bad boy is big. Alright, so here we have <laughs> the power supply. <laughs> um, ultra quiet. So I need my knife to rip open the plastic. And depending on the power supply you get, some are really nice and just have little cables that plug into the power supply itself. Others you have a ton of cables uh, that are directly attached to the power supply. Uh, I don't remember which one I did here. Alright, so here we have, where do you open? Right here. Gotta pop this little seal. And this looks like it is the first one I said. So as you can see here, we have our power supply. And then in the box, we have all kinds of our power cables, a ton of power cables, our main power cable, some zip ties, which are always handy. So what we're going to do is put in a power supply. So as you can see, this is what I was talking about. Nicer power supplies like this actually have lots of little plugs, so you don't have to have extra cables that you don't necessarily want. Uh, and then here's the main part right here. Silent operation, low to moderate loads. In this mode, the fan will not spin. Just letting you know that. So this fan at the bottom they're talking about. So this is going to simply go into the back in this slot right here, which you cannot see. But it's okay because we need to turn it up. So as you can see, right there is our power supply. And it lines up into the back right down there. Let's see if we can lift it up a little. So as you can see, you just kind of fit it in there. I think that's the right direction for it. Alright, let's see. We have... The way you tell is you line up your different little holes. And... This one doesn't look like it. That one lined up. Let's try and flip it. No, because we'd want the fan on the bottom. So this has to be how it goes. Alright, so... Oh yeah, they're lining up. I was wrong. So you're not going to really be able to see this, but all I'm going to do is put in the screws. Uh, let's go ahead and do that so you can... I'll try and make it so you can see as much as I can. Let's see, we need our screws, which are right here. And of course, get all kinds of little decals to stick on your computer to Kind of like your racing stripes, I guess. Okay, so I can't really see the camera right now. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Uh, before I start screwing anything in, I'm going to make sure at least you can see the bottom. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, so about right there you can see fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is in those little holes, I'm just going to take my screws, some right there, and I believe one was right here or down here. I think it's this one. Now once again, you're not going to want to tighten it all the way yet. Uh, let's see, there's that one. Oh, sorry about bumping the thing. There's the one right here, I believe. I can't tell if that's really one or not. I apologize for bumping the camera so much right there. Uh, is it really one? No, it's the bottom. So I was wrong on that one. It's actually right there. Careful there. Put that guy right there. And, and then I can kind of see where this other one is. Oh, poop. Let's do the top one first. That should be about right here, I think. Okay, just get it just barely tight. Not all the way. And then it looks like right there. And our final one, I think, is in this little slot. Right here. There we go. I think we got that time. So now we're just going to tighten these guys in. And just like that, we now have our power supply in. So if we turn this back down, uh, can you see good? Yeah, I think that's good enough. <laughs> it's so hard to... Let's see, can I... No. Oh, not so far. Yeah, about right there is good. Okay, so the first cord you want to plug in... And there's a lot in here. Can you see? A ton. So you have various types of cables in here. Uh, your standard, this is the one we actually want, this nice big block, and it's the big block on this side too. Uh, we have these ones. These are power for your um, SATA drives. So this goes into the back of the SATA, and this goes into this guy here. Uh, this one is for fans and such, or old uh, old fat, I don't know what the heck, I don't even know that this has any of those, so I don't know that we need any of those. No, that isn't that kind. I don't know, we'll, we'll see as we go along. Uh, here's another one for that fat kind. Here's another for SATA. Uh, this is a, this is a special one. Sometimes there's a A special type of motherboard. This is a CPU one. And sometimes there's a special plug. Oh, actually there is in this one. Right up on the top there's a special one that gives power, extra power to the CPU. So that's that guy. This little guy is a converter. This is actually where we would use these little guys uh, with the weird fat head. <laughs> is you plug that into there, so see those two, just like that, and you push on that to eject it, but there you go, so if you want to get it out, you push on that, and that kind of frees up, these have always been really hard to get, now this would give you a floppy drive, or a smaller power, so there's that, and it looks like we got at least two of those in there, we have this one, 
This one I would say is probably for your uh, video card. Yeah, PCIe. Uh, these are for floppy. We have uh, this one, which is Type 3, which is CPU. So there's a couple different ones for CPU, I believe, in case you have different types. Type 3 PCIe. So there's another one it looks like for your PCIe, depending on what type you need. Uh, generally, that'll plug into the the video card itself. And another one for PCIe, maybe if you had a couple video cards. Uh, we have this little guy, Type 3, and this is for, I'm not sure what that one's for right now. And then we have one more at least, oh I guess Type 3 is just the type it is. Uh, and then this is of course for your SATA again. So we have quite a few for SATA, quite a few for everything else. But the main one we wanted, oh, that I hid somewhere, oh, is this guy. So this is where wire ties are going to come in really handy. Or if anything, maybe feeding it. If you remember when I was showing you, you can see right here, there's a nice little plasticky thing. And up here, there's the other plasticky. So instead of having all our cables drape on top of the system, we can have it go underneath into this little cavity and then come back up on this side and plug directly in so it'll look a little bit nicer and it also goes over on the sides so you have lots of areas that you can do that and have less wires going over the top uh, and that's good because sometimes having your wires over the top they can get caught in a fan or they can actually uh, cause airflow not to flow quite as well as you might want Okay, so what we're gonna do is let's tip this guy up again. Oh, that—that that was the uh, front fan plate. It every time I tip it up and stuff, I bump it. So we're gonna leave it off for now. So we're gonna undo these two thumb screws right here. There's one at the top. This is for the other plate or side of the system. And we're going to go ahead and take both those out, put them with our other two, and if we slide this back about an inch, quarter of an inch, we can take that off nicely. Okay, so now we have our area in here where we can run cables through here to keep everything nice and clean. Let's see, can we... <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. It's really kind of hard to do this. Alright, so anyway, you can see the bottom here. So what we're going to do is plug in, uh, actually not on this one. This one, we're going to, where did I put that cable? Cable, cable, cable. This one there? Yeah, this one there. Okay, so we want our power one, which has got two pieces here and one big one right here and on the front of our power supply remember we saw all those little tiny things uh, little ports and such this is where we plug in our power supply so we're gonna go ahead and leave this one is gonna go where is the that one. No, that's two pin. So maybe it goes this way. So that goes into here, like show. Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing in just a second. So there's that. And then I believe these two go over here. So in the bottom corner, we match up these guys that go this way. And we're going to put one right there, and it just snaps into place. And we're going to put the other guy in there, and he snaps into place. And then we can take this whole thing of cable and push it through our little door. Then if we come over here, let's see, that's going to be this top one. Then you're supposed to be able to take this and come through the top or bottom or whatever 
go through here, I don't know if you can see that, right here, we just went back through, I want to feed it this way in, and now of course you can't see, so let's lower this guy, maybe to here, and then do this guy right to here. So as you can see, we have our cable right here, uh, and we simply plug it into our slot right here. Let's see how you go in. Just like... All you can see is my arm, huh? <laughs> uh, let's see, go right there, and push in. I think that's all in. Yep, nice and tight. So there we go. So as you can see now we have from our power supply at the very bottom goes out that one door or area <laughs> and comes back in up here and goes there which keeps all this clean and nice with no stinking cables. So there we go. All right, I believe we are just about out of time. I can't really look at the moment, but I imagine this took plenty of time for an episode. <clears throat> so in this episode, uh, just to recap, we hooked in our power supply unit right here, our PSU, and we also put in our RAM, our 16 gigs of RAM. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And like I said earlier, I really hope you guys are learning something and will feel more comfortable about building your own system because you can get a very nice system. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this, make sure you comment down below and like the video. And if you haven't, sub to my channel and check out my other channels, my gaming channels, ones for... Uh, big kids and ones for family friendly gaming. So uh, that's Taz Unplugged for big kids and just Tazman T4ZZ M4NN uh, for the family friendly. Follow me on Twitter, all that fun stuff, you know. Uh, links are in my channel page somewhere. <laughs> and usually I put them on at the bottom in the description of the video. Anyway guys, like I said, thanks for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.